prisoners being held in a guard post to the southwest of Ngumba Industrial Zone. The targets are civilians. One male, one female. Apparently, they're specialists sent out there to investigate infectious diseases. They were frequent visitors to that devil's house at Zoya Manipul. If you recover them, we'll finally be able to get first-hand accounts of what's been going on in that place. Specify a project. The map has been updated. Please select a drop point. Please select a deployment point. has infiltrated and the map has been updated. Please select a deployment point. Please select a deployment point. Analysis complete. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Buddy has infiltrated and the map has been updated. complete. Snake, talk! 
talk to me! Snake! Your objective is to rescue the two targets. Counting on you, boss. Fire at will. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Rain approaching. You gotta extract him. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Yamasa. As you know, contract forces of Africa were stationed at that village. Anti-government forces hired ZRS to bring kids there from around Africa for training. But at some point, the adults with the PF started dropping like flies. This was right after we arrived in Africa. We don't know the cause. The kids ended up on their own. Must have been like fish out of water. Nothing to eat, no way to get back home. All the adults taught them was how to use a gun. Targets, but hunt for food? Not likely. They wouldn't have lasted long. Then the White Mamba showed up. He was faster and stronger than them. A better soldier, and he knew how to lead. I guess somebody wished upon a star, because their savior turned up like stardust straight out of the blue. The moment he arrived, the kids had their new commander. That was when they started attacking other villages. 
Word of the infamous White Mamba spread fast. But it isn't just his combat skills that got people talking. As you can tell from the name, he's the only light-skinned kid in the unit. Not to mention the- He's coming too. Roger that. We have no idea where he came from or what he's experienced. The kid's a huge blank. But I'm sure you'll know him when you see him. One other thing. He's still a kid, so don't kill him. Be careful not to hit him with anything lethal. Not even a flesh wound. Our mission objective isn't just suppressing a bunch of militants. This is a DDR operation of the kids in that unit. DDR stands for disarmament, demobilization, and reintegration. Disarmament is obvious. We take their weapons off their hands. The demobilization part means dismantling their military organization to ensure they can't arm themselves again. To do that, you need to capture the unit's commander and have him order his men to disband. In this case, the commander is the White Mamba. There's nobody above him, so he's all we need to grab. Finally, reintegration. Through education and occupational training, we give them a means to live besides war. A lot of kids born in a war zone don't know any other way to live. So before they find themselves back there, we teach them another skill. I'd like to establish this rehabilitation process at Mother Base. That's why we're bringing those kids back here. It's not so much for their sake. It's for the world that we're trying to create. No other way about it. Those kids are amateurs. Bad for business to have them running around where we're trying to work. Bring them all back if possible. Or as many as you can. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. complete. and the rest of his unit in the staff living quarters. How's that going? It's a disaster, but what else can we do? We've taken away his weapons and banned him from using his nom de guerre. Apparently his real name is Eli. He must feel like we stripped him of his whole identity. We'll let things simmer down. I put a guard on him for now.
still the question is, who is he? Where did he come from? And how has he survived? He's still not talking. No. All right, you're out of the hot zone. No enemy forces in pursuit. Mission complete. One of the deck crew called out to him in English. Yes, mission complete. Boss, that was exceptional. Boss, we placed the two targets in quarantine. They don't show signs of anything, but we'll monitor them just the same. If they had access to the Devil's House, I doubt they were sent there by some health organization. Cypher used them, and would have eliminated them eventually. But we'll protect them here. They've agreed to that. After all, we help them out of the country as promised. The mission's complete. But boss, they've been behind the curtains at Ngamba. They examined the patients there nearly every day. They told us the patients were being made to listen to voices on tape. But the male target added something interesting. He said he doesn't know what was on the tapes because there was no English version. Of all the voices that were shoved down those people's throats, English was one of them. Boss, staying on the battlefield that long will have a negative impact on your health. Why not head back to Mother Base for a shower once in a while? Hmm? The boss is back. Let's go refuel and load up on artillery. We're good to go, Chief. <laughs> What's the matter? still. Payback for how they treated her? Doesn't explain the others. She had every chance to kill them. Tighten security on her cell. This happens a second time. There won't be a third.
boss. About Eli. I'd heard that one product of the Les Enfants Terribles project went missing in Africa. The age would be about right. Now, I'm not saying I think it's Eli, but I want to run a genetic test all the same. Don't worry, I'll have it done without him noticing. The test may take some time, but I'll tell you as soon as we have the results.